What's up guys? So today I'm going to start a new series and this is uh, the new electric mini quad build. So it's kind of a project I've been wanting to do for a while, just haven't gotten around to it, but I uh, found a great deal on a, on a roller, so uh, we're going to get started on it. Um, so electric quads, uh, you know, is it the future? Who knows? But it's something that I think it's cool technology. I'm not going to say it's cheap, but it's got tons of power, tons of torque. So this, uh, the setup I'm going with, uh, we're using a, an Apex Roller Mini Quad. And I'm not sure what year it is, but it doesn't really matter. It's a newer year. It's wider. Uh, I think the earlier years were much narrower. So, you know, I wanted to make sure this was, you know, one of the newer years. Um, it was a barn find. I got it for 175 bucks. And funny thing is, I, I had it shipped from Minnesota. It was supposed to be $275 shipping. I thought it was COD. They got here and I asked them how much I owe them. The guy's like, you're good. I never got a bill. So literally cost me $175 for this roller. Um, so great start there. I mean, because you know the, the other stuff isn't, like I said, it's not cheap, but I'm really curious to see what we can do with this thing. And I'm working with a company called Electro and Company. Uh, they're up in uh, Oakland, California. And this guy really knows his stuff, does a lot of bikes, got his own custom line of bikes, and um, been very helpful. So a lot of different motor selection. I've been researching it for a couple months now. And all these motors have come from China, but there's so many different pieces to the whole thing and understanding the, the amperage and the watts and all this other stuff. And I, I do have a bit of electronics background, but not when it comes to calculating power in a, into a vehicle like this. So, you know, I understand why these electric vehicles, vehicles cost so much now because the batteries are just crazy expensive. It's not even so much the motors and controllers, it's just the batteries. But, um, so I decided uh, early on, I've ridden a Suron e-bike, which uh, the one I rode, I think, was a 60 volt, and it was it was cool. It was fun. That thing, that thing, super light, so it had a lot of power. And um, I knew with the quad being a little bit heavier, I definitely wanted to do a 72 volt system. So, so we're doing a 72 volt system, and right now the the battery capacity that I'm going to have made is a 50 amp hour. So we'll get into the batteries and the motors and all this other stuff in a later video, but I wanted to kick this off and just give you a quick walk around of, of what we're starting with, what the roller is. Um, some quads will work better, for, better than others. Now, the good thing with electric is the rotation of the sprocket can be reversed, and you even do get reverse. So for the Apex Mini, it's actually a right-hand drive. Um, most other quads are left-hand drive, but this has right-hand drive. So all we do is swap a couple wires, and now you can, you can uh, change the direction of your sprocket rotation uh, as the primary anyway. So you can flip the motor, you know, do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, I, I'll get into the motor on the next video, and then we'll go into battery and control and all this stuff. I have the motor here. It's going to be a great fit. Uh, I need to I need to mock up and, and fab up some mounts, so I think I'm going to do it in, in billet. And my goal with this thing is kind of try to do a bolt-on system, um, because the the Apex and the DRR mini quads are very similar. The only the main difference is the Apex is a little bit longer, the wheelbase is longer, so you actually have more room in there for the battery, which is cool. Uh, but the the mounting structure and everything else, literally. If I make a base plate, then it can be moved over to the DRR or used on the Apex. You can preserve the original geometry. You're not welding. And uh, if you ever wanted to convert it back to gas, then you could. So that's kind of kind of the route that I'm going. Um, what else? The, yeah, I'm not even, you know, right now it's just kind of, this is, I just got the motor on, on Friday, test fitted this weekend. I'm pretty stoked. I mean, this thing's going to have mad power. The guy told me, he's like, honestly, dude, the motor that you're going with is going to way overpower this thing. But I figured, I said, hey, let's go big. 
Uh, let's see what it can do. If I ever wanted to take the whole system out and move it over to a full-size quad, it actually should have plenty of power to, to run a full-size quad and make it pretty fast. But he basically told me, he's like, you're probably going to use a half to maybe two-thirds of the power that this thing's going to have. So I was like, bring it. <laughs> let's do it. Um, so the, uh, you know, the, the, the motor I have here, the controller, they're building me a custom harness and then a custom battery. So I should have, I'm hoping to have the controller, the, the throttle, and the, they, they give you a kind of a dash, a gauge with um, battery life and speed and all that other stuff. So I'm hoping to have that later this week, early next week, and then the battery will follow in a couple weeks because they have to custom build it. So I want to get the motor test fit as soon as possible and then give him the specs, the, the room that I have, and then we'll work the battery because it's being custom made. We can, we can change the shape of it and stuff so that it fits well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about this. It's just going to be a pit quad. You know, I'll, I'll, I may try to rip it around a couple tracks just to see uh, what it can do, but I'm not going too crazy on this. It's uh, as far as the bike itself, but um, I, I honestly think we could probably drop this whole setup in a, like a 250R, and it's still gonna, it's still gonna haul ass, man. You know, so we'll see how with that how that goes. I have a, I have a bunch of frames here for a 250R, so down the road I may. Uh, may start to fab it up and then it's pretty easy to move all the electronics and battery over. But um, like I said, this one, we're just going to take a look, quick walk around and uh, then the next video we'll, we'll go into the motor and take, I'm going to, I want to try to start fabbing this up this week so I'll be documenting that and telling you my thought process and, and things like that, what I'm going to do. All right, so t let's take a look at the roller. So here's my $175 barn find. It. Um, you know, it's a little rough in, in certain areas, but overall, frame is good. A um, bunch of the parts are good on it. Not too much I have to replace. After some cleanup, some fresh powder, new plastics. I mean, this will look like a new quad. So let's, uh, we can just get rid of this. Um, so there's the base, base that we're looking at. And as you can see inside, we have lots of room in there. Which is, which is gonna be great. It's gonna be very easy to fit the battery in the motor. Um, as far as upgrades, you know, besides powder, probably get some new shocks for it. I got a bent tie rod in there. That'll get replaced. Uh, I need a top plate for the steering stem. Uh, rebuild kit for the, the rear master. I'm trying to find, I think these nerfs are AC, but I'm trying to find out because I wanna get new nets. If not, I could probably go to JSR Motor Design and have them uh, make a set for me. The swing arm has definitely been welded, and I'm going to see. I, I have a feeling it's a little bit tweaked, so I'm probably just going to end up buying a new swing arm. Get some new nuts. The axle, for the cost that it was going to take me to re-chrome it, I could probably just buy a new one for about the same amount. Tires. They'll get replaced. We'll just burn these off during testing. And um, these are 16 inch tires. I'm hoping to go up to 18s, give us a little more ground clearance just for, for fun. But because we don't have a gas tank, which is normally in this area, this is the perfect place for the controller. And the controller has fins for cooling, so we'll just put the fins down. I'll make some brackets mounted up, and then it'll, it's, it'll get plenty of airflow for cooling. You know, the motor. I'm actually going to be able to reuse these upper mounts with some custom brackets for at least one of the mounts and then um, I'm still debating uh, looking at things how I'm going to do the rest of the mounts but test fit in there, sprocket lines up perfect, brings the edge of the, mo edge of the motor over to here so should be no issue there. Um, that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, it's. Really not going to take much to get this thing back to looking to new. Um, you know, the pegs are all rusted. If I can't get new ones, I'll just powder them. But it's a pretty good base. The brakes are all good. In fact, the brakes even look brand new. I'm not really sure how that happened. But that's, uh, that's our starting point. I would love to have like a plus two swing arm on it. Just because of how much power this thing's going to have. But when you get into... Extended swing arms for these things, you're looking at probably a thousand dollars, and that's not something I want to do for this project. So we'll see how it handles as is, and uh, and kind of go from there.
so that's it for this one. Uh, like I said, just a quick walk around. Next one, we're gonna I'm gonna remove the Nerf bars and we're gonna start uh, start looking at how we can fab up the plate in some sort of base plate because I want to preserve you know so we don't have to weld onto the frame. So we need a way to bolt the mounts for the motor onto something. So I already have some ideas. I'm, I'm gonna be do, doing some test cuts. I'll mock this all up in poly. I have different thicknesses of poly and that's a lot cheaper. And then once it's all finished, I'll probably send it out to get everything machined in billet. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet. So I'm gonna keep this one moving pretty quick, uh, as quick as I can. I wanna get this thing up and running. So, you know, keep an eye out. If you're interested in uh, electric vehicles, there's gonna be a lot, a lot of stuff I'm learning here and I'll pass it on to you. So let's, uh, you know, make sure you subscribe and follow along. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.